Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics jail test. Today we're going to be shooting Privy Partisan 100 grain soft points out of the 243 Winchester. And here is the box for that Privy Partisan 100 grain soft point 243 ammo. Go ahead and flip it around. Nowhere on this box does it give velocity information. It is listed on their website, but nowhere on the box does it mention velocity or anything like that. So not a whole lot of info on the box. Let's go ahead and pop it open, take a look at what it looks like. And I am filming this clip after the fact. I forgot to do this while I was out of the range, so I did fire a few rounds. Here it comes with a little plastic divider inside of a cardboard um, sort of case. Pull this out. I mean, it's nothing fancy, nothing special. The brass is a little scuffy looking, but it's not dingy or dirty or anything like that. I can't wait to shoot it. Let's go check it out. And my test rifle today is my Winchester Model 70 Featherweight Compact, chambered in 243 Winchester, of course. It's got a 20 inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold FX2 six power scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. I've got 243 stamped right in it. Check out my website, masonleather.com. It will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming over the other side, I've got my white tailed deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Privy Partisan, aka PPU 100 grain soft point out of the 243, and we got absolutely fabulous performance. Let's go ahead and take a look. We captured all three bullets. We've got one at the 17 and a half inch mark and two that are right about the 19 inch mark. Coming on down, it looks like they all expanded well and held together pretty good. Penetration depth is consistent. Let's go over and take a look at the first block and it looks like we have terminal wound cavity opening up at about the really starting at about the one inch mark coming on back opening up and then ending at about the nine inch mark on par with a lot of the deer loads we have tested we did get some fragmentation right here so it'll be interesting to weigh these and see how much retained weight they got but not only that, I wanna show you something really cool. So every time I've started doing this, before I actually shoot the gel blocks, I will shoot my target board that's right next to my gel blocks to see where that particular load is hitting. Because I'm sure you can understand, I'm not gonna re-zero the rifle for every load that I test. I've got it zeroed for a particular load. The other loads are gonna hit wherever they hit, but I wanna know where they hit so I can adjust my aim on the blocks and actually get hits on the gel. So before I fired this Privy Partisan, this bottom of the barrel budget ammo, at the gel, I shot a three round group at 100 yards and it is sub MOA, check this out. So here's my target board that I use and I was aiming right here. I have my rifle zeroed with 95 grain Federal Fusion and so these 100 grain PPU loads hit quite a bit high from the center of that hole to the center of that hole is seven eighths of an inch. That is a .875 inch group with budget ammo. I don't know about you, but I think that is really, really cool. And then something else, when I fired that ammo, it had noticeably more recoil, noticeably more muzzle blast. And I was looking at the chronograph between shots. This stuff is cooking along. We're gonna talk about this later. And for those of you with poor spatial reasoning, I have no doubt someone in the comments would say, oh, that's not a sub MOA group if I didn't do this. Here you go. I've got the three inch hash mark centered on the left hole and it's seven eighths inches over to that one on the right. Boom, sub him away, son. And let's go ahead and take a look at the velocities for that 100 grain privy partisan load out of the 243. The high was 28.67, the low 28.42, and the average was 28.52. 
And here are those 100 grain soft point privy partisan bullets as fired from the 243 pulled out of the gel. Y'all, I am extremely surprised and floored by the performance of this load, especially considering that it is by far the cheapest 243 hunting load that I have been able to find. We actually saw some pretty incredible performance. So let's go ahead and go over it. Weight retention wise, we saw 57 grains, 67 grains, and 83 grains respectively for an average of 69 grains retained weight, and that 69% weight retention. There is a bit of a range there between 57 and 83 on the low and high end, so you do get a little bit of variability. But for what this is, as fast as it was going, I'm actually kind of happy with the 57 grain lower retained weight, considering that this is some just ultra budget ammo. And then on to expansion, again, a little bit of variability here. We saw 0.44 inches, 0.58 inches, and 0.63 inches for an average of 0.55 inches expanded diameter. Overall, that works out to 2.3x expansion, which is on the higher end of what we've seen with 243 loads. And even the smaller one, the 0.44 inch expanded diameter bullet, that's still 1.8x expansion, which is kind of par for the course for a lot of 243 loads. That's not actually on the low end when you consider all the loads I've tested. And now on to velocity, and that's where this load shines the most. Our high velocity was 2867, our low was 2842, and our average was 2852 versus the factory build velocity, which I was able to find on their website of 2969. So on average, we did come in 117 feet per second slow, but remember, we're shooting this out of a 20 inch barreled carbine, a compact little 243. So to get 2852 feet per second on average is incredible. This is the fastest 100 grain 243 load I have tested thus far. In fact, it's the fastest 95 or 100 grain bullet I've tested thus far. And when I fired it, y'all, I could tell. I could tell this stuff was loaded hot. It had more boom and more kick than any other 243 load I've tested so far. And then on to penetration. We saw 17 and a half, 19, and 19 inches respectively for an average rounded up of 19 inches of penetration. And that is right there on par with some of the best 243 loads I've tested. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that privy partisan 100 grain soft point load in 243. I was extremely surprised with the performance of this load. I think for what it is, it performed way better than expected and a lot better than a lot of other 243 ammo that's out there that is a lot more expensive. Now the caveat to this particular load is a little bit of variant, well not a little bit, a little bit more variance than most other loads in terms of its weight retention and expansion and stuff like that. Even, pen well penetration was pretty tight, but weight retention and expansion, this varies a little bit more than some other loads we've tested. As mentioned before, weight retention was 69%, but it varied from 57 grains up to 83 grains. That's, that's a pretty good gap. And then expansion was also really good, 2.3x overall, but it varied. The smallest bullet was 0.44 inches across, the biggest was 0.63 inches. That's a little bit of a gap, but even so, that 0.44 on the low end is still 1.8x expansion. That's pretty good. That's in line with a lot of other 243 loads. So I'm really happy with it, especially for the price of this stuff. And the same can be said for the weight retention. And then where this load really, really shines is actually in velocity and penetration, I think. Whenever I fired this load out on the range, I could tell this bullet was cooking. It was loaded hot. It recoiled quite a bit, more, well, not quite a bit. It was very noticeable, more than some other 95 and 100 grain 243 loads. It had a louder report. I knew that I was gonna see higher velocities. And that's exactly what we saw. I've got my cheat sheets here. This particular load, the Privy Partisan 100 grain load, on average was 100 feet per second faster than the Hornady American Whitetail 100 grain load out of the 243. That video might not be out yet. 100 feet per second faster, it's the same weight bullet, it's a lot cheaper, and honestly, performance wise, it was as good or better. It's, it's kind of equivalent to that load. Watch that video when it comes out here in a few days if you're watching this as soon as it has come out. Um, also, it came in over 100 feet per second faster than Federal Fusion 95 grain. So this Privy Partisan stuff, they're, they're putting a few more grains of powder in it. And then penetration wise, it compares very favorably to a bunch of other 243 loads. 
19 inches on average, very consistent. We had 19, 19, and 17 and a half. That's right there in the ballpark. And that's where a lot of 243 loads fall. They fall between sort of the 16 inch and 19 inch mark. And with this, we're right there at the top of that. I'm extremely pleased with how this performed, especially for the price. If you're looking for a budget load for your 243, I think this Privy Partisan 100 grain soft point load could be right up your alley. Personally, I wouldn't hesitate to hunt with this stuff at all. And also, interestingly, I don't know if I rolled this into the video. I don't remember whether I filmed it or not. I'm filming this after the fact. But this particular ammo was incredibly accurate out of my Winchester Model 70 Compact. I got a sub-MOA group from 100 yards with this super duper budget ammo and I'm you know I'm not particularly trying to shoot for good groups here I was just shooting on the target behind my gel blocks to see where the bullets would hit so I could aim at the block and actually hit it because I don't re-zero the scope every time for every load that would be ridiculous so I think I rolled that into the video this stuff was very accurate in my rifle very pleased um, and then kinetic energy wise I want to hit on that with this load this load had very high kinetic energy for a 243 with a 100 grain bullet averaging 2852 feet per second at the muzzle we're looking at 1806 foot pounds of energy that is substantially higher than most 243 loads in the 90 to 100 grain bullet weight class and that's because it's going so much faster than those other loads and so far as of yet this is the most you know powerful kinetic energy wise 243 load that i have tested it's got more energy than federal fusion at the muzzle more energy than hornady american whitetail um, more energy than Remington Corelock tipped, which is coming up, more energy than pretty much everything, um, except one. There's one load that produced more energy. All in all, I'm extremely pleased with this ammo. If you can't tell, I keep saying that. If you've got some, give it a shot. If you've used it before, let me and everybody else know how it did down in the comments. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.